In today's video, we're gonna have a more technical view on AMD stock. There's been a lot of discussion specifically about one of their products in the GPU gaming market, the newly launched 9070XT, which competes with the likes of Nvidia's uh, 5070 Ti and 5070, which are much, much more expensive compared to what you actually get. So my argument and a lot of other people's argument is that AMD is offering much better value here but why are we in a stock channel discussing such technicalities? Well, I think it's very interesting for your investors to understand why in this case AMD has to have a MSRP of 599 instead of, uh, let's say, 499, which I think someone like uh, Cortex, a person that I really like and respect, have followed in for many years. I think his, uh, his kind of point of view is that AMD should price this much lower. But so going to the first step here, I think we should look at the what is called die size and yield impact, right? So on this image here, you have the five or six year old equivalent of AMD's uh, mid-range GPU, the 5700 XT. And here we can see that assuming a die size of roughly 250 square millimeters, we can also get that same number from tech power up. Uh, yeah, at 7 nanometer in the process node and uh, roughly 10, uh, 10, trillion, um, 10 billion transistors and a die size of 251. Now, with, that, uh, with all those numbers, how many good dies should we get? Well, we can see firstly that we should get totally 240 dies, of which 179 should be good dies, since we always have some defects. Remember, manufacturing is not perfect. Now, again, we are assuming a lot here, but I think it's... The important main away, takeaway here is the, like, if you look at the next step here now, looking at the other chip, the newly launched uh, 9070XT, which is a much larger chip. So already there you can see that this chip is uh, at 357 square millimeters, essentially 50% larger than the equivalent uh, product in the gaming segment for AMD, the 5700XT, five, six years ago which was at 250 square millimeters, 251. And we went from 179 good dice for the 5700 XT to 109 good dice for the 9070 90, 90, XT, right? So already there we have much, uh, much, much less uh, good, uh, essentially GPUs that we are talking to be able to sell per number of wafers AMD buys from Taiwan Semiconductor. So not only is the 9070XT much larger in terms of area of the actual chip, we can also see that the 5700XT is made out of 7 nanometer wafer in 2019. Roughly the cost of each wafer back then was like between 6 to 9,000 US dollar. I think maybe probably 7,500 US dollar per wafer. Whereas if you compare that now due to tech inflation, uh, over the past five or six years, obviously there's been inflation in a lot of areas, but especially in tech, uh, the the newer 9070 XT is made with the TSMC's updated N4P, so it's essentially a one and a half generation, uh, you know, faster node compared to the node that uh, 5070 XT, 5700 XT was made in 2019. And not only is it a much denser node, it's also much more expensive. You could argue that it's probably double the cost uh, on face value considering inflation and everything. Now, so already there, we already have double the cost of the manufacturing. And not only that, we get a, we get much, much less uh, number of good dyes per wafer or much, much less number of good GPUs per wafer. So... It's a lot going against AMD. And remember, if you're someone like Cortec and I don't know, like if you, let's say, assuming that AMD wants a price target of $500 for the 9070 XT, which is, uh, let's say, $100 more than the equivalent of the, uh, the 2019 launch, the 5700 XT, which cost, I think, $399. I don't think that's realistic, right? You cannot go six years ahead with inflation double the cost of the node, much larger die, and expect that the cost would be only 25% more. I'm telling you that the wafer cost actually uh, doubled, doubled, essentially. 5070 XT 
with a die size of 251 square millimeters with a lower wafer cost and retail price of 399 I think AMD was able to maintain a strong profit margin. Difficult to say exactly how much uh, since also the 5700 XT had 8 GB of VRAM whereas the 9070 XT has double that. But at the time of the 5700 XT in 2019 the VRAM cost was probably um, a little bit more expensive. I think we are probably looking at maybe between six to ten dollar per gigabyte so if you have eight gigabytes it would be anywhere around 50 to 60 us dollar for that kind of chip uh, whereas the 9070 xt although it has doubled the amount of vram the vram cost is probably around two to four gigabytes so essentially halved uh, so we doubled the amount but we also halved the cost per number of gigabytes so i would say the the RAM, the VRAM uh, cost for both of the chips is essentially in the same ballpark. So the bigger difference is probably in the much, much like 50% larger die and more than double the cost of the actual node or the manufacturing cost at TSMC. So looking at all of that with a price uh, of 599 I think that actually AMD has at best parity with the 5700 XT cost at the time of launch. But most likely worst uh, worst uh, margins on that you look at the, again the die size is larger the process node is uh, much newer and much more expensive probably more than double the cost uh, the rerun capacity is double the power envelope is also higher for the newer chip in 2025 compared to the one in 2019 uh, i think the tdp of the 5700 xt was 225 watts Whereas this one is more close to 300 or even above 300, which also leads that you need much, much more better cooling solution there. So not only is the die larger, you also develop more power and you need better cooling there. So when you consider all of that, I think the cost of manufacturing for the 5700 XT in 2019 was around 200 US dollar, maybe 250 at best, which left AMD anywhere between low of, uh, you know, uh, in the lowest end, maybe 38 to 40 percent gross margin, margin on that, and maybe in high end 50 percent margin. Now, if you do the same calculations, considering that we have much better robust cooling needed for the 9070 XT because it consumes more power, it has more than 50 percent increase in area of the chip, double the amount of VRAM, and double the cost in the wafer cost on manufacturing cost from TSMC. Probably this chip cost. I would say between three to four hundred to make maybe not four hundred but I would say maybe three hundred again correct me if I'm wrong but the relationship is probably that uh, yeah the 9070 XT has lesser margin in my opinion so if AMD would sell that chip now at 499 instead of three instead of 599 they wouldn't make they would give this chip away for free and this is especially important to know since we are in a market where TSMC's wafer pricing is now, I mean, they're at 18,000 or so for the three nanometer wafer, which they say is increased over three um, X in the past 10 years. Another article here say that TSMC to raise wafer prices by 10% in 2025 uh, in excess of 20,000 or so per wafer for the newer ones. But even the four nanometer class wafers are around 18,000. So it's uh, a lot has been, you know, hap happening. I think if you consider all of that, I wouldn't be surprised that AMD is actually, you know, uh, trying to focus more on the volumes. And this is uh, something that I think you can see in the, in the comment section of Cortex. Again, I really like the guy, so I'm not trying to bash him. And I'm, I might be, you know, the one that's wrong here, but I don't think so. I think like amd with the cost structure that they had in 2019 made more money on the 5700 xt than they are making on the the 9070 xt and remember we are in a market where nvidia's i mean 5070 ti is selling for probably more than a thousand dollar if not uh, if we're honest so yeah it's uh, i think amd is gonna take market share in the gaming segment with the and in fact they are doing that you know they are they are out selling nvidia on the on the DYI market GPUs and sure this is not going to be the biggest push for AMD in the terms of stock price but I think this has been one of the weaknesses of AMD over the past uh, 12 to 18 months the gaming segment 
and now with the you know us being in um, the f year four of the uh, the latest generation of uh, consoles ps5 and xbox i do believe it's high time for this gpu to start to sell out a little bit and help amd also to not only focus on the ai market obviously the ai is more important for sure looking at this article from wccf tech uh, JP Morgan believes that AMD's AI GPU business will grow by 60% this year and they highlight the new, newly announced Oracle initial orders of 30,000 MI355Xs which is a multi-billion dollar deal between AMD and uh, Oracle. Interestingly, you remember that Oracle at the same time mentioned around 60,000 NVIDIA GPUs which means that it's a 2 to 1 ratio between NVIDIA and AMD at least at Oracle for the current state according to the latest earnings so if this is true for all the other companies as well amd would have a market share much much higher than i think anyone expects so i think a lot of stuff is gonna start to turn bullish maybe we saw the first sign of that today with the stock going up four percent but essentially the focus of today's video was not to like focus on ai ai as everyone else does all every day we've had enough of those videos but i think if it's time for us to focus on the other segments for AMD. And in this area, I think it's very uh, unrealistic for uh, people to expect that AMD should sell the newly launched 9070 XT at less than 500 US dollar. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, that was just a, you know, interesting other kind of video today to look at the more technical stuff. But I think it's good for you guys and everyone else listening to this channel to to engage in this kind of more technical discussions and not only go at you know the latest news about ai here and ai that uh, so please like subscribe engage in the comment section do you think that amd's uh, 9070 xt has higher or lower margin than their equivalent 5700 xt that was launched uh, five or six years ago in 2019 uh, yeah so i would love to see your comments and yeah see you in the next one